Start by opening the topography tutorial drawing. Set it to 2D view, looking at the entire patio, pool, and backyard. From the Landscape Tools group, click Fence. Left click once at the corner of the house. Continue clicking with your left mouse button to define the shape or perimeter of the fence, and right click to finish. Like other drawing tools, you can click individual points, drag them with your mouse and cursor, or use your arrow keys to nudge the fence points if you'd like. Now set a view of 2D and 3D side by side, and set a good view of the driveway, both in 2D and 3D. Now from the Landscape Tools, in the Topography Tools, choose Slope Lot section. This allows us to left-click and drag, then release to set the direction in the link of the slope. The starting elevation, as the elevation of the slope begins at the descent angle, is exactly what you think. In this case, it's a 5-degree slope. You can change the descent angle at any time, and it will automatically update the drawing. Now, we will pan towards the back of the drawing looking at the northeast corner of our property, and we'll add another slope. Again, press the left mouse button and drag and release where you want this slope to end. Now we'll get a better view, so that you can see what those two different slopes look like together. So you have multiple slopes in the same drawing. There are other ways to customize the topography as well. Let's take a moment and add a berm to the front yard. Open the 3D window view again, and set a view in the southwest corner of the front yard in both 2D and 3D. Now choose Topography Line, click the tool, and then choose the Draw Method. We'll choose an oval from corner. To make that oval constrain into a circle, just hold the Shift key as you drag your cursor out. Again, click, drag out, holding the shift key to constrain it to a circle. Click to select the inner circle. Change the topography elevation to 2 feet, and you'll see a raised topography feature in the yard. You can update these values anytime you like, and you'll update the drawing. The default ground elevation is 0. So your topography feature's elevations will go up or down from there. 